Joshua, would you just take a few moments to introduce yourself uh, to our attendees today and for those coming on later tonight too? Thank you so much, Scott. What an absolute delight to be invited. And thank you so much for the opportunity to share. Uh, yeah, so I'm Joshua McLeod. I am, uh, some people are called serial entrepreneurs, and then some people are serial missional entrepreneurs. So I'm kind of in the serial missional entrepreneur category. I'm in uh, my third career. So my first career was in the litigation industry, and we did trial support and helping attorneys with lawsuits. But I really was just so burnt out on that and really asking God, what do you want me to do? And I was able to take seven years in 21 countries and study global poverty and how is the church uh, working and what is the church doing and how can you help lift people out of poverty? And then after that season, uh, God kind of gave me three clear roads of this is what you can do. Um, leadership development, creative arts ministry, and music ministry. And so Instruments of Joy is one of those three branches, uh, you know, that that God has me with. So working with leaders, working with artisans, and then equipping artisans through music is what we do. I've heard the vision for Instruments of Joy started in Malawi. Uh, yes. Would you mind sharing just a bit of that story? So in 2007, I was on a missions trip in Malawi. I was actually with an organization called African Leadership that trains African leaders. It was an AIDS orphanage. All of the kids there, their parents had died of AIDS. Hmm. There was no electricity. So there wasn't any like generators, no running electricity. This is, in, this is the worst of the worst scenario. The hopelessness was just palpable. I mean, all I could see was kind of the darkness and the reality of the scenario. So as we're sitting there, there's kind of on a missions trip, there's the, hey, let's meet people. And now the orphans are going to come and you're going to talk to them. And if you're like me, sometimes that's a pretty awkward time where you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And yeah. how does this work? Um, and this kid comes in and he has a gas can and a block of wood that somehow were strapped together to make a ukulele like instrument. Mm -hmm. And he had a song and he started to play on this ukulele thing. Mm -hmm. And the entire atmosphere of the orphanage changed. And what had previously been the no hope scenario became the hope filled room that was full of joy. So it was like before this orphan came and spoke, the only thing that I could see was darkness. Mm -hmm. After this orphan comes and starts playing on his guitar, the only thing that I can see is light. I, I was sitting at this orphanage and there was a worship leader on the trip mm -hmm. and he was like, I'm going to give that kid my guitar. <laughs> and I looked at the worship leader and I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, and so literally I came back from that, that orphanage and I talked to my sister. She was like, let's do a yard sale. We did a yard sale. There was another trip to that orphanage. And in a couple of weeks, they had like four really great instruments sent to that or orphanage. And so since that time, we've given out about 750 instruments in 70 some countries or 67 countries. Andrea knows the exact number, but, um, you know, so that's, that's kind of where we started. We want to equip those musicians who are bringing light to communities that simply can't afford an instrument. Right. And so I can, and I know people who can. And so why not, you know, I can find somebody and give them an instrument. That's what we do. I love it. Well, I mean, what, how beautifully expressed you obviously had a, had a great passion that that was awakened on that trip. And you've come, come a long way since that. I, I teach a lot on the value of music making and singing. And one yes. of the points I always make is that, yes, we sing because we're happy. Right. It's a response of the joy within us. But it's also a joy maker. Right. By yes. singing, by making music, there's joy, there's hope, there's beauty. And uh, what what a, what a great way to connect that to bringing hope to those who are impoverished. I, I just love that journey. And it was so well wow. explained as you think through. So you have all these ideas and thoughts and this new vision. But but how did you kind of formulate it into a mission? What is the mission statement right now of the Instruments of Joy, Joshua? 
Yeah, so the mission of Instruments of Joy is to provide quality musical instruments to musicians in need in Jesus' name. Hmm. So um, there's three kind of three pieces to that. So hmm. one is quality musical instruments. I'm a musician, and there is a huge difference playing the very cheap instrument that sounds terrible and is hard to play and the really excellent instrument that sounds incredible and is easy to play. So it's kind of like when you learn guitar, everybody's like, oh, let me get you this little cheap guitar. <laughs> cheap guitars are so much harder to play. Uh, so we want to provide quality musical instruments so that it's easier for the musician to actually develop their skills or to just really perform and grow and ed be educated. Um, the musicians in need, we connect with organizations who already have established relationships in the communities where they work. So we don't just show up and just throw instruments out of the plane, you know, here, here, you get an instrument. You, that, that's not what we do. We work with partner organizations who have established relationships so that those instruments are going to the exact right individuals. And then in Jesus name is kind of just the reality of one day we're going to stand before Jesus and give account for what we did. And I certainly don't want this to be done in my name. <laughs> I want this to be done in Jesus' name. And it's just the biggest blessing to me to know that every instrument that's handed out, none of the instrument recipients know anything about Instruments of Joy, who we are. All they know is, I couldn't afford an instrument. I wanted to be a musician. And then somebody shows up and like, God is giving this instrument, which indeed, that's exactly what it is. We're the hands and feet that are just kind of the connector in the middle. You've got instruments or ability to pay for instruments. You need instruments. We're like, here we are, God. We can collect here and get over here as as, as many doors as you open. We'll walk through. I, I love it. I love it. Well, let's, let's let's talk process for a few minutes, all right? First off, how in the world do you get your instruments? Where do they come from? Word of mouth has been pretty much our biggest connection. Anywhere in Nashville, you can come and drop off an instrument with us and we will, we, we do three things. So we, we set it up and we take it to like bandwagon here in Nashville is our repair partner. They make sure that they're in tip top shape, uh, groom guitars, set up our guitars for a long time. Now we have like a couple other guitar places that set up all the instruments to make sure they're in really quality condition. We connect with a partner who is going to distribute that instrument or deliver that instrument. And then we get a photo back to the donor. So if you have a guitar that is sitting in the corner collecting dust, you give it to us, we get to set up, we connect it with the partner and we give you back a photo of the person who received your instrument. As we are moving along, some really just incredible connections opened like purchasing opportunities where we can go and acquire a really quality musical instrument for an unbelievable price, like better than the used music store gets their price. We get stuff at cost or below. Right. So sometimes when you have donated instruments, you get really great stuff. And sometimes you get really okay stuff. <laughs> when we purchase stuff, we get really great stuff. Right. So those are kind of three ways we collect instruments. Uh, we get them repaired, we set up, we purchase instruments, and then we connect with other people who already have instruments and then try and connect those out. That's awesome. Well, you mentioned the the, the pictures that uh, folks get back. And, and I heard from one of my friends, Lyndall Littleton, he's up at Hill the Baptist Church, uh, just north in Clarksville. And his church actually partnered with y'all at some point. So I got an email from him three days ago saying, Instruments of Joy is awesome. He's had oh, several okay, people yeah. who, have, uh, who gave instruments to you all, but then they've showed him the pictures of the person who now has the instruments somewhere in, in, in overseas. And uh, I love it. And he just said his folks were absolutely thrilled by it. Uh, so he was so happy to hear of this partnership. Well, I imagine after, you know, the 700 plus instruments, 67 countries, you've got so many great stories. Can you just choose one or two of your stories of of, of those that have received your instruments and, and get that picture for somebody here for us? You know, it really is. Awesome. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. and And what's maybe most incredible is I probably don't know the best story right. at all. Right. <laughs> um, and in a sense, like my job is to, we just do one thing. We connect instruments, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's mm -hmm. our lane. That's what God told us to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that thing. 
but having the pictures back does, you know, you get to see all of the stories. Yeah. One thing that really touches my heart is knowing that there are prisoners uh, in prison who are in that kind of dark situation and now they have instruments to learn music. There's a, an orphanage in Chile that we were able to send some saxophones and some band instruments and things to. And a couple months after they started a mo the music program at this orphanage, one of the kids came up and he said, well, I used to be in the gang, but now I'm in the band and this is so much better. <laughs> I love it. That's a good one. So, I'll have to use that so quote cool. somewhere too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. <laughs> amen. Well, I know y'all, y'all also partner at times with some local artists and organizations to, to benefit instruments of joy. I see even saw somewhere you had a, a benefit concert back in March. Tell me about those and how that works a little bit. So I grew up and my dad said, the best guitarist in the world is Phil Kagey. <laughs> So when I moved to Nashville, like, you know, 28 years ago or whatever, I was like, well, I need to hear Phil Kagey. And then when I started Instruments of Joy, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pray that God opens the doors where Phil Kagey can do a benefit concert for Instruments of Joy. So lo and behold, Andrea, who's our program director, is just somehow incredible about meeting everyone. And she's like, hey, all right, I got you meeting with Phil Kagey. So I'm like, Phil, hey, here's what we do at Instruments of Joy. Can we do a benefit concert? And then he went and grabbed Buddy Green. And then we had Audrey Assad and just people come and do a benefit concert. Wow. Uh, two weeks ago, we did a benefit concert with the Sidewalk Prophets at the Ryman. I don't ever look for this stuff just <laughs> finds us, right. you know, we're our, all we try to do is get instruments out. And then people are like, Hey, well, we want to do this. You know, we love this. What could we do? Well, you're a band. You could do a concert. Okay. Let's do a concert. So that's just, you know, God's opened up a lot of doors that, and I, I, so one thing that I would just in that lane, yeah. um, I've learned through instruments of joy. There's been lots of, things in my life where I've tried to go do something for God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this for God. I'm going to go do this for God. And here's what I'm going to go do for God. M most of those are all train wrecks, you know, uh, 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 because it's like, oh, I'm doing this for God. With instruments of joy, it didn't start that way. With instruments of joy, I said, God, what do you want me to do? Mm hmm and through a lot of prayer and just open hands and open ears and okay i've been in 27 countries i've studied global poverty i i've i have this business knowledge i have this ministry knowledge like what am i supposed to do the answer that god led me to was instruments of joy mm -hmm. and what's so cool about that is that he's the one that sustains it i don't have to i'm not the one that's paying the bills at instruments of joy god is paying the bills mm -hmm. at instruments of joy and so it really is like i you, there's no chance in the world that i'm going to be on the stage with you know sidewalk prophets talking about instruments of joy or doing a phil kagey benefit concert <laughs> but it really is it's just something that god wants to do and it's been such a privilege to just watch him do it i'm just trying to be faithful with everything he puts in my hands you know I love it. I love it. Well, Josh, let me just say, man, I'm, I'm a big fan of Instruments of Joy. I, I love the mission of the program. I love what it stands for. I love what it's already doing. And I'm just excited to hopefully partner with you in the future. But Joshua, as we finish up, any final words for Tennessee Baptist or anything else you want to share before you finish up, buddy? So one of the things that we are currently seeking is we call them multiply partners. So that's why I'm saying it. So mm -hmm. these are people who give a hundred dollars a month, uh, like a church partner or a business owner that has the capacity to give a hundred dollars a month. What that does is it covers all of our overhead and all of our, which we have a very low overhead. I mean, we're, we're a tiny organization. Um, there's three people and one person's salary. So that's instruments of choice. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but that is one thing. And what's cool, if, if somebody was like a church partner or something like that, we send a quarterly update of what it is that your giving did. It's kind of like an encouragement for um, 
you know, mission work and things like that. I love it. And of course, I've got a great website, uh, Instruments of Joy. They've got social media. So all the normal places you can follow their ministry, see what they're about, check it out, reach out to me. I will hook you up with all kind of great resources and videos and things like that. Uh, but Josh, well, I just want to say thanks for being here today, brother. I've, I've enjoyed hanging out with you a little bit and hearing even more about it. I was already pumped about Instruments of Joy, <laughs> but now I'm even a bigger fan. So I, well, I sincerely you, appreciate it, brother.